Hundreds of friends and family members are expected tomorrow at the funeral for 13-year-old Rahan Shafolo. She's the Fairfax County 8th grader hit and killed by a train while walking on a railroad bridge Wednesday over Bull Run. Now the family is asking people not to wear black to the funeral. They want everyone to wear something colorful to celebrate her life. Bruce Lashan has been covering this heartbreaking story for us throughout the week. Bruce? Yeah, Adam, Rahan's family is hoping to pull something positive out of this tragedy. One positive thing would be to convince other people to stay off the railroad tracks. Rahan's voice silenced, but her cousin and best friend, the 13-year-old who watched her die, hopes one message goes out loud and clear. Yeah, it's never go on the tracks. Just, it's Even if it's a joke, even if you have a way out, just, just don't go on it. Despite the dangers, every year, thousands of people ignore the risks, and every year, hundreds of people are killed. Every day, people tempt fate and die trespassing on railroad tracks. See tracks, think train. Mark Kalina survived. 911, what's your emergency? I got hit by a train. Where are you at? I am on the track. We got a 10 The college student in Ohio took a shortcut over some railroad tracks five years ago. I'm Mark Kalina, and that was me on those tracks. Kalina has now started a foundation to help people who suffer the same kind of trauma. He lost both his legs. I look down and all I'm missing is some legs. It's, I'm, I was just happy to be alive. Most people who are hit by a train never live to tell about it. He's hoping other people will learn from his mistake. I tell my story to anybody who will listen. Are you listening now? He just wishes Rayhan had heard him. She was too scared and she just kept running and the train came really fast and hit her. Now, you might think that you would hear the train coming and have time to get out of the way, but experts say that is not true. Most of the noise is at the train and behind the train, and trains can move so fast you might not have any warning at all. Adam? And only so much you can do if you're actually on a bridge as well. Bruce, thanks. Well, the nonprofit operation Lifesaver says it can take a mile or more for a train to stop, which means that by the time the operator sees somebody out there on the tracks, it's likely too late.